So this drawing is really an extension of the last drawing. We're using toned paper and black and white content. But we've added some, some more objects, not just drapery. Uh, so I'm going to take you through this drawing, but we're going to start a little differently. We're going to start with our 2B pencil. Uh, so what I want you to do is, uh, again, download the image or you know, put it on your computer screen or however you're going to work with it. And this time, sketch it in, in pencil very, very lightly. So use your 2B pencil. Uh, just go for the main shapes. You're not looking for details. Uh, and also be aware that you, you, know, you can alter these shapes as you make the drawing, so you don't have to be uh, super exact, uh, although it is important to be you know, fairly accurate. Don't be wildly inaccurate, but um, you know, work on it, but don't get too bogged down because a lot of the drawing will happen in the shading stage. Okay, so after you have the pencil, we're then going to slowly uh, block in some of the major shadows with black Conti. So there's no um, rubbing, there's no vine charcoal in this. Uh, we're going to be using the texture of the paper as part of the drawing. So be very, very gentle uh, with the Conti. You're just putting in the shapes. You're not necessarily going for the darkest areas. Uh, the really subtle shapes, the really um, you know, soft light grays just leave out for now. We just want to establish our overall tonal pattern. And then once you've got that, go back over it and start to sort of pick out some of the darker areas, you know, so down in here and in the shadows. But don't go necessarily black unless you, you're fairly certain, like we know this is black down here, uh, so that's okay. Uh, drawing things, like, like I was talking about, you can see that this ellipse is not quite right, so that'll come uh, and, you know, be modified in time as we go through the drawing. So you're just slowly building up. Again, with these sorts of assignments, we want to try and let the paper carry a lot of the, uh, the drawing for us. And then fairly quickly start to put your whites in. Uh, the reason for this is the whites will then make the gray paper go darker. And that way we can see the gray paper as, as the mid-tone. So pick out your major lights. Uh, be careful and maybe not, you know, you pick a few tiny little lights, but don't go too overboard with it. Uh, and you'll see right here, you know, this kind of made sense at this stage of the drawing, I felt, but you'll see in later versions, this comes out. Because if we go over here, it's, it's light, but it's, uh, you know, it's not that light. A lot of this is also personal decisions. So I, I could pitch this whole drawing slightly darker than this, in which case maybe there's no white here, or I could pitch it slightly lighter than this, in which case I'll, I'll keep the light. So what I'm trying to get at is everybody will make slightly different decisions. So you're not necessarily copying my drawing. So whether you leave this white or the color of the paper, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent uh, throughout the drawing. So get the white in fairly quickly. Uh, and then you're going to start building up the shadows. You're going to get some more darks in the cast shadows, uh, the core shadows on your objects. And you can see here I've taken the, the white out. Now when you erase with Conti, it does smear a little bit. And sometimes those smears are hard to get rid of. Uh, just rub really, really hard. They will leave a trace in places. But again, we're not too worried about that. So start to come back in. Uh, develop your values just a little bit more and then take the drawing to completion. You know, here now we're getting the subtleties like, like this kind of shape in here, and, uh, this kind of shape of shadow up here. But don't go too overboard. Try, try to be minimal. If you look here, there's, you know, there's darks here. There's maybe two darks here. And I've, I've kept those out. Uh, there's a lot more happening in here, and I've kept that to a minimum also. So remember to keep looking at your drawing, and as long as the drawing makes sense, you're good. You don't have to copy every single detail uh, that you see over here in this picture. Again, you can see there's all sorts of details on this cup, uh, which I've left out. Uh, I've got just the basic shape and hinted at some of them. Um, like I said last time, you know, this isn't photorealism. This is just trying to get a good uh, likeness of the image that we have. So um, don't feel you have to get everything in there, especially with this technique. It's about leaving things out. Okay, good luck.